Hi everyone, welcome back to Jensen DIY. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to another fun-filled toilet repair video. I'm sorry that you're here because chances are you probably have a problem with your toilet. So uh, I'm gonna make this as quick a video as possible and show you how to fix the problem of a hissing toilet. A toilet tank that fills too slow and makes a really loud hissing noise, okay? So there's a couple of possibilities that could be causing this. And uh, I'm gonna start out with the most common one. And there is a chance that you may have to change out your toilet fill valve if these two ideas I'm gonna give you don't work. All right, so let's have a look here. So your toilet's making a hissing noise and filling slower than usual? Well, that's debris inside this fill valve, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to clean that out and fix this. And if that doesn't fix the problem, then you'll have to change this fill valve out. But we're gonna try and fix it. Turn the water off. Just pop this cap off. Just a couple little tabs there. So we'll pull that up so that comes off of there. Grab on underneath the float firmly. Then you wanna grab here and twist a quarter turn and then lift up, okay? And that just stays over to the edge like that. Okay, so what we wanna do now is we wanna flush out any debris in this fill valve. So we're gonna take a container and I'm gonna turn the water on slowly and flush any debris out of there. Just for 15 seconds or so, that's good enough. Turn the water back off. Okay, and then underneath this, I can come off of there. You can just clean that off. Make sure that's clean. Put that back on. And we wanna put that back in so it seats down and then we're gonna spin that a quarter turn as we push down. Okay, so we're back. Now that's not gonna come out of there now. Okay, and then we just wanna take this cap, so we put that over, click that back down into place. I think that got it. You can tell that that is much quieter now. There's no more hissing sound, and uh, the tank is definitely filling much quicker, okay? So hopefully that was um, the problem you were having and you got that fixed. If it's still hissing, then before you go to change this fill valve out, there is one more thing you can check. So here's a new fill valve and uh, your water line attached, okay? So now if you turn the water off to the toilet and undo this, I'm just doing it this way because it's easier to show you, okay? So you would undo your water line from the fill valve down at the base of the tank there. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this over now, there is, in some of these, there is a water restrictor in there. It basically slows the flow of the water going into the tank, okay? So if you take a pair of needle nose pliers, now you would be going from underneath like this, you pull on that, there's that flow restrictor. So the water hits that and it goes through some channels along there and it just slows that flow down. Now, sometimes these get clogged with debris from, say, the city or town you live in flushing the water main, okay? So if you pull that out, you can clean that and put it back. Or you could leave this out, but that means that there's the potential of debris getting up in the fill valve and you'll end up having to clean that out like we just did or replace the fill valve, okay? So that's, uh, that's the second cause. That's not quite as common because usually the particles that get in here and start messing it up are small enough to make it through this. And some of them don't even have this. But that's one thing to check before you go to replace this fill valve. And I do have a video on replacing a fill valve. It was uh, an older toilet I pulled out and I actually changed the fill valve in my shop just to show how it's done. Okay, so if you are going to change out your fill valve, check that video out. All right, well, I hope that helped you out. Um, if you end up having to change out the fill valve, they're really not that expensive. This is the one I would recommend here, the Fluid Master. 
It's a universal fill valve and uh, they seem to work really well and they're very reasonably priced. So, but they do make other brands as well. This is just the one that I have used many times to replace fill valves. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.